Is the Empire mining his planet? That's what I got from that scene. Don't you say a word. Oh, is that his mom? I, I won't forget this. Oh, is her boyfriend gonna think she's romantic with Cassie? He's gonna report him. I'm just, I'm surprised. Good. Never seen that in Star Wars either. This is so weird, you guys. <laughs> it almost doesn't feel like Star Wars, but I guess we knew this show was going to be more... I mean, it's a spy thriller, and spy thrillers tend to be very sexy, so... I think I know this actor from Poldark. You guys haven't seen Poldark, have you? And we'll cast Kyle Soller. Poldark, yep. I seen him in Poldark. Tell me you have calf. Just about to put it on. Calf. Is that like coffee? When have we ever heard about coffee in Star Wars? I feel like they're introducing a lot of new things. I don't get at all what's going on here. <laughs> you got a minute? I'm just, I'm looking up Canary. He's looking up Canary, like on Google? <laughs> Where is he looking it up? They have search engines in Star Wars? Abandoned after Imperial mining disaster. Mining, everyone died. Abandoned and considered toxic Imperial prohibition. So, based off of that, it seems like the Empire was occupying Canary, which was Cassian and his sister's planet, um, and taking all of its resources the way that they did with a lot of planets in the Ahsoka Tano book, the Empire occupies the planet that Ahsoka seeks refuge in to take advantage of their farming resources. So this kind of reminds me of that. I'm just putting the pieces together because up until now, I've been like, what is going on? There's no room for doubt on the path to success. Justice. Okay, but <laughs> this would so be like me trying to give an inspiring speech like, uh, here's some words. <laughs> this show is so relatable. That was a cool ending. So Cassian's gonna flee Ferrix and go into hiding. And I feel like that's when the season's really gonna start. Cause I feel like up until now, it's been like a lot of just setup. My camera just died. So I'm gonna finish up this video on my phone. So like I was saying, it just feels like the show up until now has just been laying a lot of the groundwork trying to throw in pieces of context here and there, like with that one guy's Google search about Canari and what was happening in the flashbacks on Canari, and um, just setting up the characters like Cassian and his missing sister and Bix and her boyfriend guy. So yeah, I feel like now that all of that is set up and Cassian is working on getting off planet and leaving Ferrix and he clearly being chased, I feel like now is when the season's really gonna kick off, so I am looking forward to the next few episodes and seeing what happens with all of that. I am enjoying it so far. It's interesting and different from other Star Wars content that we're used to, and I feel like they've definitely leaned into making it a little bit more adult, which is kind of different for Star Wars. 
I don't know. I feel like how is that going to work in the context of all their shows? Because on the one hand, they just released this like Lego Star Wars summer vacation video on Disney Plus, and then they're making Andor like more adult than their other content. So it kind of feels like they're going in both directions at the same time, which seems like an odd choice, but let me know what you guys thought of the first two episodes. I'm gonna leave episode three for next week when they post episode four so that I can watch two episodes next week as well. And yeah, that is just my initial thoughts. I guess I haven't really formed an opinion on it yet. Um, I'll have to see more of where the story goes. It is definitely slower paced, but that's not necessarily a bad thing, so I'm still with it. I uh, will keep watching the show, obviously. I'm interested to hear what all of you guys think. And uh, yeah. <laughs> if you'd like to watch my sort of prologue for the indoor series, you can watch that here. And that's it for today. God bless, and I'll see you soon.